Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. We have officially dropped to 80% world population, which kind of tells me we're more or less uh, going further towards the end game. Maybe not. I don't know how far we are. It seems to be a quite lengthy game and maybe I'm doing something wrong by literally doing all of the missions, but so far it's been a great blast. Today we're going to look the, uh, through the Catacombs of Despair with our B team, Little Green and the others are going in. I think we're sufficiently equipped, so let's just start the party. We land in a couple of tunnels with the vague description secure the area and secure the area we share let's instill some frenzy Ready to roll. I'll be right there. the green moves up spots a couple of no goods Next time, you're and immediately misses that is not what I've been expecting to see Receiving. Roth moves up. Holmes, online. Natalia moves up. No, we don't want to evacuate. Zooming in. That thing has been nicely struck. Covering. Overwatch. Perfect. Move. Five by five. Dashing forward, <coughs> Tyler. Oh, Tyler was the sniper now as well. Okay, I see. Good, double dash. And we have a few more enemies alerted. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> that's okay. Taking aim. spotted out where the others are can't really jump that far here born ready. Ready to roll. catch me if you can charging up And their Sanders does the same. <coughs> Moves up, we take a shot. Hostile damage. Successfully so, and then go into cover again. And Jim moves up as well. We might take some damage, but I don't believe they will be able to kill anyone. Fortunately, no war cry for us. <coughs> oh wow, that tea went bad. Sorry. So yeah, we're fighting against unfortunate paralysis. <coughs> Oh yeah, he's almost fully paralyzed. Yeah. 
And now he's bleeding on top of Here. being paralyzed. Well. Let's go. Tell you what. We're going to return the favor. You look quite healthy. So. We are. Actually paralyzing you. Fantastic. <clears throat> Move up. And this heals his friend. And we're down to 9 out of 18 paralysis. It's not perfect, but it's okay. I'll be right there. for action good Natalia gets some <clears throat> much needed willpower back and we got the first uh, first one paralyzed I like Frenzy, such a strong buff. That alone makes it worthwhile having a Psy Operative with you. Just that buff is an incredibly strong, uh, an incredibly strong buff. <clears throat> Alright, need to deal with this guy. some more damage I don't like it yeah and we can't really jump onto them But we're still frenzied. Enemy contact. Okay, we're taking this side. I don't want to be out in the open. All set. Tyler needs to heal himself because I want to cure myself. Oh, it only heals half of the existing paralysis. Ah, that wasn't the best use of actions then. I'm ready. Good. We are one, two, three, four. I'm going in. Definitely moving in. Definitely removing actions from all of them. That's a no-brainer. Moves up. Aiming. <laughs> we'll get some return fire. Okay. But the guy is almost down. So. Positioning us behind uh, the enemy here. That way, eventual return fire would hit the enemy and not us. 
And we got induced panic, which we definitely could do. One more break. And very good. He's dazed as well. Natalia moves up and I think we can finish this guy <coughs> for good. Very limited resistance should he cure now. Two of them are days. The only one that actually can do something is the Scorch Champion over here. One shot. Very solid damage. And more shield bearers, okay. Enders moves up. Straight up kills this guy. Kill here. Need to yeah, heal ourselves. I'm ready. We need more frenzy. Okay, moves up. I think this will be a combination. So one, keeping him paralyzed two right there moves over three four shouts over. oh we see there is even one more impacted okay cool identify scratch one ready for action no time to waste Feels like the only way this group knows is forward. No hesitation. Just move in and get them killed. Slowly but surely we're moving up and we don't have enough for an overwatch, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. Let's go. This guy has this violet smoke. Not sure what that is. If this is the sign for, you know, um, the reanimation, that would be nasty. Moving. Still haven't really found a good way of fighting the reanimation. Slightly back. <sighs> if possible, I'd like to capture Play him. The role. Ready to roll. We're moving up. I don't want to charge in yet. Advancing. Tyler takes an overwatch. You already know there is one enemy there. Mm. 
Little green moves forward. Be right there. Natalia moves forward, also overwatches. This guy will continue to be paralyzed. And Ain is going to be the one that's going to induce fear as and when needed. Anything that moves, dies. Here. Well, right that there. worked out really good. Okay, on the upside, we know all of the current Receiving. creatures inside are stunned. On the downside, that appears to be not enough. Proceeding, I can see them. We've got incoming. I'll be right All right, there. we're moving back. Overwatch. Five by five. Rolling. Even more Overwatch, and you guessed it, Overwatch. I'm on the move. Providing Overwatch. Okay, we got seven more rounds here, and we need definitely need to continue keeping this guy paralyzed. Frenzy. I don't want to put too many hit I'm points, uh, hit point damage on him. Advancing. Oh, he respawns. Well, yeah, that's a problem. Gosh. All set. I'm here. I think the only way to deal with the respawners is I'll be right there. To really just overwatch trap them. Anything they will run in. Moves, dies. If you do have enough overwatch you can kill them but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something like can't be that difficult to just kill them No. 
no escaping the Phoenix. On the mark. Threat eliminated. <laughs> Very good hit. We deserve that for clustering up. Those respawners are nasty, really, really nasty. They are fast, they can attack multiple times, like three or four times, and it's a lot of damage. So, just wondering, anything other than that Overwatch? Some new body armor, leg armor. Once more into the maze. Once more into the maze. Okay. What is that some new armor that they are talking about? Armor. Accuracy. Quite a bit of accuracy for heavy armor. More accuracy. That's actually some really nice armor there. And relatively heavy on top of that. I mean, 40 armor and a lot of accuracy. Okay, you're losing out on the jump jet, yeah? But still, it's a really good set of armor, so... Not good enough for the prime team, I would say, because here we already have all of the armor. And we want to make them cyborgs, right? So that won't work. But for the B team, I think it's actually not a bad suit of armor. And that combination here, sniper plus heavy, maybe we can just refit him. Let me think about that. So. Say, if we were to give him that armor, uh, he looks a bit weird with that armor, but uh, don't be too harsh on him yet. Uh, let's give him a sniper rifle and actually let him be a second sniper. Quick aim, good. Overwatch, also pretty damn good. Um, I think we're going with the Overwatch first. We'll drop the melee uh, stuff. And instead we're giving him a pistol. Okay. So, this is not really a, uh, more of a sniper. Let's see how, how that works, because that team doesn't have a second sniper so far. It's just Natalia. Um, and he also does have some space left. Could even give him a uh, rifle pro proficiency. So Jim could be a fantastic soldier, really. Whilst in the same team, uh, someone like 
Jim Ulert. Another Jim, by the way. Uh, could actually take that here. Tyler is Sniper Assault. Okay, I see. Good. So we have Tyler, Natalia and Jim all uh, taking kind of uh, the mid to long range, but that's not necessarily bad. I mean, uh, Jim can't rush in without his golems, golem suit anymore. But I think that's not the end of the world, to be entirely honest. I think that's not the end of the world. The armor is not too bad. I believe we can work with that. Um, equally, I believe our team needs rest because we're pretty worn out. So time to move to Born in the USA. And time to very much attack the Pandorian Lair, which is going to happen in the next episode, guys. If you want to attack the like button in the meantime and see if you can poke it as long as it uh, takes in order to be the solid thumbs up that would be much appreciated and see you in two days bye bye